Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. I finally got my voice back. I had literally no voice. Hey, if you're new to the page, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell, and come rock with the Stock Up family. Hey, we are a place of all ages, all races. We keep it positive and we just worry about making money. Make sure you don't fall for any spam, good people. I will never ask you to send Bitcoin or cash anywhere. I will never talk about a WhatsApp. Um, this is my broker. None of that. It's not me. It's spam. Let's get right into it. Tesla had a run up, but it also today is having a pull back. Not because of anything that's going on with Tesla, because I expected a, a pull back today, uh, but because of what's going on with Ford. The question is, should you have Ford or Tesla? All right. You guys, if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know what my answer to that is. And I'm going to get to that right now. But before I do, anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold or sell. All right. Got to say that crap all of the time. Excuse me. Y'all didn't hear that. All right. So uh, let's look at Tesla. As you can see, I have Tesla and Ford pulled up here. Of course, Ford is the yellow, Tesla is the red. So as you can see right now, after the run up, Tesla's down uh, four and a half percent. But look at Ford, Ford up 11 and a half percent in one day. That is killer, right? So what I want to tell you guys is remember about five, six months ago, um, I was saying that we need to start dollar cost averaging in in to Ford and GM when you think EVs, right? Not just uh, gas engines, but EVs. Um, uh, um, Ford talked about $30 billion. GM talked about $35 billion, you know, over, over years as far as electrification is concerned. So let's look at why this happened okay let's find a report here here we go this is what's going on Ford plans to double production of its electric f-150 lightning to keep up with surging demand i have a friend that put one in uh put uh money down to hold one and i i thought this was a low number right so here's the deal Ford plans to build significantly more electric f-150 uh pickups each year to meet surging demand. The Blue Oval wants to churn, churn out 150,000 of these trucks annually, right? F-150 Lightning uh, reservation holders will start ordering their trucks this week, right? When uh, Ford unveiled first unveiled, that's a, a mis misprint, the electric F-150 Lightning, it planned to build 40,000 uh, at, you know, at the of them each year. I'm sorry. Now it's realizing that's not nearly enough. Now, I thought that and a lot of you thought that like that's that's just such a low number, 40,000. I mean, it was a number one selling vehicle to F-150. And uh, those of you, you guys saw the president get in there and he floored it and, uh, you know, did the whole, you know, political thing. Uh, but it's a hot vehicle and it is killing it i mean it is killing it and so what i would say to you just to get right to it without a lot of crap buy them both right ford is so cheap right now you're talking about 24 dollars uh for ford and i've been dollar cost averaging in and i will tell you with gm there was plenty of months where i was red but I was dollar cost averaging and that's going to be important, especially like for the video that I made yesterday about it's all about dollar cost averaging. So in GM, I was down uh, 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 week after week after week. And now in one day I'm, I'm up. So, well, in, 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 in a matter of a week, I'm up. So I was down. Now I'm 13 percent up in GM and I'm 37 percent up in Ford and um, you know, I haven't went in heavy, but, you know, I got 500 shares of Ford in my what was my swing trade. Now I'm keeping this long term because I have more GM and Ford in my long term portfolio. 
and I'm just going to transfer these shares over to be real with you because I just think that this is they are gunning for Tesla. Um, I believe that um, Ford will be probably the second largest competitor. They say they're going to be the first largest competitor to Tesla. So that's their goal. Tesla is the is the mark. All right, good people. And so why play one over the other? Just continue to dollar cost average in. Now, I will tell you that I believe that Ford is going to do exactly like Tesla did yesterday. I believe it will probably have a cool off tomorrow. So this today is Tuesday. If you if you're watching this on Wednesday. So I wouldn't go chasing it right now unless you're going to start to DCA dollar cost average, because I believe it'll probably cool off like Tesla did. And uh, so Tesla probably would have had a green day or a flat day if it wasn't for Ford. So Ford is still in their thunder. So as you can see here, you know, Ford is giving some back. I'm sorry, Tesla's giving some back. Ford is taking it all up. All right. So that's what I want to say about uh, Ford and Tesla. Right. But let me talk about rotation because my portfolio over the last two days, like a lot of you guys, has just been killing it. And what I want to talk about is is rotation again. All right. I don't want to just give you guys uh, that are new uh, stocks and just keep feeding you stocks. I want to teach you how to be wise investors. So as, when it comes to rotation, you want to see what's coming. You want to look down the road. That's what the stock market does. So the stock market, believe it or not, is already pricing in and seeing past this Omicron. That's what the stock market is doing. That's what the stock market does. And the stock market is looking forward to interest rates, right? And so remember, that's why last month I start saying it's time to get into banks, it's time to get into banks. You're actually a little late getting into banks. I already had some banking stock, but I got into banks um, heavy and I'm probably overweight. I am overweight in banks, but it's okay because I'm making money in banks, right? So the reason why I'm overweight in banks right now is because it's the one thing I see going up even higher, right? And then when I get up higher, I'm going to trim my positions and I'm going to start cashing up. So I, um, before we get into that, let's just look at some, some banks. So check this out. So if you look at these are some of the banks I have, of course, there's a whole bunch of them that I don't have here. Right. But I have Morgan Stanley. I have Bank of America. I have Goldman Sachs. I mean, you can look at J.P. Morgan, Citibank. Oh, I got Citibank, too. I come. I didn't put that in there. All right. But look at this. Look at uh, let's add city. Let's see. Let's add city and see where we're at. OK, so if you could see. City is up 1%. Goldman Sachs is up 3%. Bank of America is up 4%. And Morgan Stanley is up 4%. For some of you that are new to the investment games, you're thinking, ah, that's nothing. 4% in a day is a lot. Let me tell you something. Especially if it's something, is in something that actually has the potential to go up instead of down, right? This is what rotation is all about. Being in the right stock in the right period, knowing that we are heading for a potential bear market, right? Which I think is coming because the Fed is going to raise the interest rate. They have to because of inflation. So being in the right stock at the right time helps you to be a wise investor because you can continually make money quarter after quarter, regardless of where the stock market is, whether it's in a bear, bull season, crash or correction, just knowing what to do. OK, and so this is what I want to show you guys. And I want you guys to keep an eye on um, PayPal. I would say PayPal is in a buy range for me. I'm going to start dollar cost averaging into PayPal right here at this price because no one knows. So it's 190 right now. Um, uh, if you look at PayPal, let's go to tip ranks, right? So PayPal is 190. PayPal 
over the next 12 months, according to analysts, 25 analysts, saying they're saying that it could have a 40% um, um, in the next 12 months uh, upside, right? 40%, right? And some rated even higher. I'm not going to go into all of that. You got 25 ratings, okay, which is a lot, right? And um, these are the top 25. If I go to all analysts, which is 32, they have it uh, at 41 and a half percent upside. All right. With a high being 342 is what they're saying it could get to. Now, PayPal has a high uh, price to earnings. And uh, if you can look at PayPal, it really has been tanking. Over the last three months, it's been tanking, just going down, 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 down. It's been a falling knife. All right. But um, it's it it may be finding some support right here. Right. It may be finding some support. And I would say if it gets down to one seventy nine, actually, let's say one seventy nine. And that's where I would start to buy. That's me. Anywhere between 179 and one, actually 190. Between 179 and 190 is my buy range. Now, that's not technically correct, but that's where Larry is. So what I'm going to do when it gets down into that range, which it is now, if it comes down more, then I'm going to start buying some and just holding long term. Okay, because uh, this it, it, it PayPal blur, blurs the line. It's not traditional finance. All right. It's more digital financing and it has a future. OK. And so it's where it's where banking is going, if you ask me. And um, um, so e- now you have a foot into fintech. Right. And so that's why I put PayPal into f- fintech where financial meets technical okay and so that's what i'm looking at you guys let me know what you're looking at um um, but let's continue to talk about rotation and i just want to end this okay so here's what i want to tell you guys about rotation okay this is what's going to make you a lot of money i want you to google some of the things that are going to make money if interest rates are raised we know banking is going up right and actually, a lot of biotech is going up. We got to look at that, right? Uh, healthcare, we got to look at that. That kind of goes hand in hand. And um, energy. So some of the energy stocks. So a lot of the boring stock are the ones that's going to be making money, like oil. So start looking at those now. And the time to get those um, now is now <laughs> when they're beat down. OK, and just. DCA, don't just get all put all your money in. You be prepared like I did with the banks, right? Just be prepared like I did with Ford and GM. When it's not hot, you know, it's not a hot stock. They got low, low PEs or reasonable PEs, and you just start the dollar cost average. So what's gonna happen is when it comes, that's why rotation. I believe is you get in early to me. That's how I rotate. I don't wait. I get in early before it happens. So for instance, right now, um, COVID, the, 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 the cases are, are high. So if you're looking to buy a company like Disney, now would be the time to buy Disney. And that's another stock you should look at. But uh, Disney is a long-term stock for me right now. It's don't, don't expect to get, Disney right now and turn a profit in the next day. It's not going to happen. So I would start to dollar cost average in the Disney right now, today at its price. Today is Tuesday. And I would start DCA in and I would be holding Disney for some years because I believe it's in a range now where you could turn a nice profit. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to leave it right there. I got, I got some, some, some good, uh, uh, some good investment tips that I got from an old investor. And I'm going to leave you with that. I was with an old investor. This, he looks just like the Dosekis guy with the pipe and the smoking jacket. Cool cat. And he just kept telling me, he called me Lawrence because that's my, my real name, my government name. 
This is Lawrence. Don't try to make a killing. Lawrence, don't try to make a killing. This is about 15 years ago. And I said, um, why not? He was like, look, if you can make 5%, that's a killing. And I'm like, nah, that's only 5%. He says, 5% of 100,000 is, is, is good money. I'm like, yeah. He said, 5% of 200,000 is good money. And I'm like, yeah. He says, concentrate on making 5% of what you have. And eventually, you'll have 100,000. Eventually, you'll have 200,000. And then I got it. It's just like, there are seasons where we can make a killing. And there are seasons where we just need to look at continual growth. All right, good people. Listen, I want, if you haven't seen this video, my $5 a day challenge, I want you to watch this video. This challenge, for those of you that are new to investing, for those of you that think you can outdo the stock market, if you want an easy way to build wealth, a way that works, I want everyone to view this video. Now, it's my $5 a day challenge. If you have been taking the challenge from last year, this does not erase it. This is just to add two. I want to be very clear with that. Okay, this is just to add two. And this is a portfolio where I will be sharing. All right, good people. Sorry for all of the, you know, somebody said, quit tasting yourself. I'm sorry, but I was draining. <laughs> all right, good people. Hey, I love each and every one of you guys. Make sure you check out all of the links below. Download Weeble, and they're going to give you thousands, uh, you know, you have the potential to earn thousands of dollars of free stock. Just by depositing $1 in the Weeble, go ahead, download the link below, deposit a dollar, and then for your crypto, I have Coinbase, the link for that below. Check out all the links below, good people, and let's make good money. Live, love, laugh, and learn.